Welcome, I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Today, I'm going to show you how to make quinoa with fresh tomatoes, cucumbers, and herbs. This is absolutely delicious and very healthy for you. Now, I've got a cup and a half of quinoa right here. It's um, considered a whole grain, but it's actually a seed. But it can be prepared like um, rice or barley. And today, I'm preparing it like rice in three cups of low sodium chicken broth. You're going to need two cups of seeded diced tomatoes, a cup and a half of seeded diced cucumbers, one fourth of a cup of thinly sliced green onions, and depending on what part of the world you're in, you would also know these as spring onions, one half cup of chopped fresh parsley. I use the flat leaf parsley. You can buy this in your produce section of the supermarket, a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, two cloves of garlic that I've minced finely, one half teaspoon of sugar, one half teaspoon of salt. Now, let me show you how we're going to get this together. In a four quart saucepan, you're going to add all three cups of your liquid. And now we're going to bring this to a boil over high heat. In a sieve lined with cheesecloth because our quinoa are very fine seeds. We're going to add it in here carefully and then we're going to give this a lovely rinsing under nice cool running water. Add your rinsed quinoa to your boiling chicken broth. You may need to shake it off your cheesecloth. Add a half a teaspoon of salt Give this a nice stir. Stir only once. And if you have quinoa that's gone up on the sides of your pan, you can just scrape them down in there. Quinoa has come to a boil. We're going to turn the temperature down to low. And we're going to add the lid and let this cook for 15 minutes. No peeking. My quinoa cooked for 15 minutes and I have a little extra moisture in here as you can see. So what I did is I turned the heat up to medium. And I'm going to let that water cook out. That should take about five minutes. And then we'll transport this to a large bowl so it can cool down. Adding that quinoa into this large bowl. And it's still pretty warm, but it cools off very, very quickly. Now, we're going to make the dressing. For the dressing, we're going to zest one large lemon. And we're looking for five tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Now, I forgot to show you the um, lemons in the beginning of the video but you definitely are going to zest one you see i'm using a microplane here and i've got this beautiful lemon zest that is smelling so heavenly right now oh my goodness okay that's going to be enough now we're going to juice it i've added my lemon zest in a bowl now i'm going to add that fresh lemon juice and I find that two large lemons is going to give me a good five to six tablespoons of lemon juice. To the lemon zest and juice, we're going to add the minced garlic, the salt and sugar, a few grinds. A fresh pepper and now we're going to slowly whisk in the half cup of olive oil because this is going to act as our dressing just want to whisk it in very finely and now we're going to add three-fourths of this to the quinoa add your tomatoes into a sieve over a large bowl Add your half teaspoon of salt. Give it a nice little stirring because you want to release some of the juices from your tomatoes here. You don't want your quinoa soggy. We're going to marinate our cucumbers with the green onions. Get it all in there. With a few two tablespoons of our lemon dressing that will be enough 
Give this a nice little stir and let this marinate for the next five minutes. And then we're gonna drain it over our tomatoes that are releasing the tomato juice. To the cooled quinoa, we're adding the cucumbers and the tomatoes along with the fresh chopped parsley. And be sure to get it all out of there. You don't wanna leave any of that freshness or goodness behind. And now we're adding the remaining dressing. Oh my gosh, if you could just smell these fantastic flavors. I mean, my gosh, we've got the garlic, we've got the tomatoes, the cucumbers, those lovely spring onions. It's just pulling it all together. And now we're just gonna give this a lovely little tossing until we get it all mixed together. Just like that, and look how beautiful that is. Here's that lovely quinoa. Now this pairs up beautifully with grilled chicken or steak or any kind of protein. Gotta give it a try, it smells so fresh and so absolutely delicious. Mmm, mmm, the nuttiest of the quinoa, mmm, the lemon juice, the freshness of the cucumbers and tomatoes just makes this the perfect side dish for any protein. Quinoa is loaded with your nine essential amino acids. It's gluten free, it's cholesterol free, and most of all, it's almost always organic. Hey y'all, hope you give this a try. I'm Dorana with Foods 101, and I'll catch you next time.